Hey guys, Brian Hunt with you for another video. This is gonna be a series or a few videos. This is the first one on tips for shooting outside in the cold. So it's about minus 10 right now, minus 10 Celsius for you people in Canada, for you guys in the US, Fahrenheit, I don't know Fahrenheit, so minus 10 Celsius sounds even colder to you guys. I shoot outside in the cold in winter in Canada quite a bit. A lot of my work, I'd probably say 80% of my work is outdoors. A lot of tourism stuff, a lot of sporting things. And in the winter time in Canada, it's cold. So I spend a lot of times outside on days like today when it's very cold and it's very challenging. And over, you know, these 15 years of me doing this, I've figured out some tips and tricks on one, how to stay warm when you're out there shooting and the kind of best equipment to wear or the best clothing to wear and options to have and also for keeping your equipment safe and keeping your equipment warm. So this first video is all about keeping yourself warm and keeping yourself comfortable and being functional so you can actually create some great cinematic stuff. So the first thing we're actually gonna go into guys is spending the right amount of money and buying the right gear. This is like all things in camera gear. You don't wanna cheap out. You don't wanna go for the cheapest thing. You wanna get a good quality thing and have that last. If you get a great jacket, if you get great long underwear, that should last you for 20 years. I have some pieces of long underwear I've had for 15 years and I still wear all the time. So my number one tip is getting good base layers, good underwear, good long things. I like wearing wool, like merino wool. I have a few of the icebreaker tops and bottoms. It's about Canadian $200 per top and bottom. It's very expensive really for what you're getting, but in a sense it isn't because it works so well. It wicks away uh, moisture from you. It, it, it's, you'll stay warm if you're sweating. That's one big tip. Another tip is also with your socks, making sure you're wearing, I like wool socks. So something that are very warm that way that will go a long way in keeping your feet warm, even if they get sweaty. So a merino wool, some kind of good ski socks are gonna help and always thicker socks and more layers of socks doesn't mean warmer. Better quality socks, better materials will actually keep your feet warmer. Depending on how cold it is out, you might wanna go with another layer after your base layer. So a lot of times I will go with a merino wool sweater or kind of another full sleeve underneath my jacket. And then I'll go onto something like this, which is a down filled jacket. Um, sometimes I do, I call joke the double jacket where I have another down filled thinner jacket underneath this jacket. I've done that sometimes when I was filming outside in the helicopter with the doors off and it was very cold. And that's just a huge way to help keep you warm, especially if you're standing still, if you're on a set and you're just standing around holding a boom pole, you're just standing around waiting for takes to happen. That's when you really need to make sure you're staying warm because that's when it becomes very easy to get cold is when you're not moving around. So again, the next key thing is a jacket. I have a few different jackets and a few different options that I have depending on the weather. And a lot of times I will bring little different jackets with me depending on what I'm doing. If I'm hiking into a location to shoot, I might be wearing a thinner jacket so I'm not overheating and sweating. And then when I get to the location, if I'm standing and I'm shooting something, I might be putting on the heavier jacket to keep myself warm. That's a great tip to just, you know, make sure you can have layers that you can take on and off easily. I'm out here up in Sault Ste. Marie or just outside of Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario, a little bit Northern Ontario. And, um, doing a little bit of backcountry skiing and uh, shooting of this stuff up here, some touring. Um, I'm gonna show you guys a little bit what I wore to get in here. So I had basically just uh, an icebreaker um, sweater on and underground garment or first layer. That was to, because uh, I got so hot coming in when we're, it was about a two and a half kilometer ski in. And then I had this down Arteryx jacket in my backpack Put that on that's what's keeping me warm while i'm waiting i am wet here i'm sweated through my shirt and undershirt but the great thing with marina wool is it will still keep you warm even when you're wet i have a shell that i can put on if it's really snowing or it's kind of a wet snow that is a great tip as well to kind of keep that stuff off you and again all these things cost money and it's kind of like for myself i think about like building my camera kit and building my grip kit and building my lighting kit it's like it's stuff that i keep getting year after year that I can keep adding onto it and getting better and better. I have like, some better jackets, I have some more options, I have some better gloves, I have some better boots, and I keep building up my kit. That's actually gonna help me stay warm, 
and do my job the same way I would be building up with my lens kit and my, you know, my camera kits and stuff like that. So it's a kind of a cool way to think about that. Think about investing in good stuff that's gonna last you for a longer period of time. So from there, I mean, snow pants, pants that you can wear over top of your long johns are great, things that can keep you wet. Do not wear jeans. Please don't wear jeans if you're actually gonna go outside and shoot in the snow. If you wanna lay down on the ground, if you wanna lay down some ice and get some different shots that way, if you wanna sit down on something that's freezing cold, it's gonna help to have a material in pants that are gonna be wicking away water, similar kind of material you're gonna have in your jacket. And a lot of these pants will be lined as well. That's a big tip as well. Another thing is my boots that I wear. I have a few different type pairs of boots. I have one set of boots that I got last year. I was sick of my feet getting cold on some shoots and I got a pair of boots from a kind of farm store and they're rated to minus 100 Celsius. These boots are massive. They're kind of hard to move in actually if I'm moving really far, but they have waterproof in the bottom and they are so warm. I can wear regular socks and I can be outside shooting all day and have no problems. Okay, so next bit of insight is you know, wearing something like a balaclava, something you can put around your face, something you can put up over your nose if it's really thin. You can sometimes get ones that are full pieces that you can put over your head and ones like this that I'm using is like a scarf. It's great to wear. Then what we call in Canada a toque. That's the proper name for them. Anybody else in the world, you're calling these a sock hat. They call them a, a beanie. Yeah, it's a beanie, I guess. That's an American thing. This is a toque. The proper name is a toque. It's Canadian. Keeps your head warm. You gotta wear your toque. If you go outside when you're a kid and you're not wearing a toque in Canada, your mom's gonna be like, hey, 90% of your body heat comes out of your head. Put your toque on. I don't think that fact is actually a real fact. I don't think you lose 90% of your body heat out of your head, but that's what parents like to say in the 80s when I was a kid. Okay, back on track. Keep them warm. So, other thing is gonna be your gloves. What I like to do is wear gloves like this, something like a mitten, that I have this one on a cable or like kind of around my wrist here that I can take off quickly. And I have another pair of thinner gloves underneath that I can use for touch screen on the cameras and move stuff around. But then I can get my hands back in here and get them warm again. Really key to keep your hands warm and keep them really warm. I'd rather my hands be overly warm than being cold. You start getting cold hands, you can't really do anything. You cannot operate a camera. Another tip after that is what I use inside my gloves and these kind of hot pockets. These things that you take out, you shake up, and they can last for like eight hours and they work amazingly well. I'm gonna do some other things on these in my later videos talking about keeping your equipment warm and other things in the winter, but these are great for also doing stuff with your batteries. I also like taking another pack, putting it straight into my pockets, and then I have another thing in my pockets, I can have some other batteries in there, but if I wanna put my hands into my pockets, they're staying warm as well. Another tip with these is if you have them in your pocket with your iPhone, uh, it's really gonna help to keep your iPhone warm so it doesn't die in the cold, which iPhones typically do quite a bit. And my last tip for you guys actually is when you get all bundled up and all warm and you feel outside, you're feeling good, don't go back inside if you can avoid it, okay? So don't just jump back and forth and think you're gonna keep you warm. A lot of times what happens when you go back inside of a place and think that you're warming yourself up, you're gonna start sweating and, and you're gonna start getting too hot with your equipment on, with your gear on, and then when you go back outside again, now you're gonna be colder. I would rather dress for the day, be all warm for the day, and not go inside. Okay, if I really have to go inside for lunch or for another break that way, I will make sure as soon as I get in, I'm stripping off all my layers. I'm basically getting down to my long underwear. Sometimes people have seen me, I have walked around after a shoot just in my long underwear and my top. Some people like it, some people don't, but it's happened. So thanks so much for watching guys. Please leave a comment if you wanna see more content like this, what you liked about this, what you didn't like about it. Give us a thumbs up if you like it. Give us a thumbs down if you didn't like it. And please think of subscribing and hit that bell to get notified. To get notified. And hit that bell to get notified for when the next video is uploaded. We're gonna hopefully have one at you every week.